Hello, thank you for joining me. This is video number five in our AutoCAD series, getting started with AutoCAD. What we're going to be doing is making some additional modifications to our title block that we've been uh, kind of playing around with since the last film. And uh, go ahead and make a brand new, a brand new uh, title block for an A-size sheet of paper. Right now we've been making our modifications to the D-size layout, but we're going to create a new A-size layout at the end of this film. So let's go ahead and do this. There's a couple things I want to change here. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about layers. We're going to create a couple different layers. The nice thing about AutoCAD is it gives you the ability to draw on different layers. Different layers have attributes like line sizes and uh, maybe colors. So we're going to be uh, kind of following up on that too and create a couple of new layers for ourselves. And uh, once we get these layers done in our uh, title block template, it's just as applicable when we finally get to um, when we finally get to model space and begin to do some uh, designing. So let's go ahead. Uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and uh, take our block like we did last time. This is a refresher. We're going to click in that block and we're going to go ahead and edit, so edit it. So if you go to the uh, insert tab and go to the block editor, click on that. It opens that up. Again, it automatically selects it for you. So go to our architectural title block and go to OK. And we're going to make some changes here. First of all, project name. It's redundant to this project name. This should really be project number. And it's not uncommon to have a project number. It's similar to like a date. You might have, uh, if you have a large engineering office or an architectural office, you might have dozens of projects going on all the time throughout the year. So you might date those like maybe 2012, the third month of 2012, the fifth project in the third month of 2012, and have a date number that's very similar to that. So we're going to, instead of calling that project name, we're going to call that project number. Colon, and maybe a return on that, and let's do 2012. Dash 01 dash 01 for the first project of the year of 2012. You know, let's talk about uh, creating uh, some layers. If you go to the Home tab and go to your layers, you might have a couple layers. You already have a title block layer, which is okay, and a viewport layer. Let's create a couple new layers, and one of those we're going to create. Um, no, we're going to save that, but let's go ahead and create a layer. And the way you do that is you go to your layer portion of the ribbon on your Home tab. It's called Layer Properties. If you click on that button, it'll open up uh, your Layer Manager. Let's go ahead and pull that into place so you can actually see it. It might come off to the side. And uh, we're going to create uh, one new layer, and we're going to call this text. So you'll notice that when you click on that button, called New Layer, or Alt N if you want to do this keyboard shortcut, it automatically comes up uh, to, with Layer 1, but also gives you the ability to change the text in that. We're going to call that text of all things. It doesn't necessarily have to be capitalized. Just something you can recognize because the customer never sees this. And our text is going to be white, which means it's the only color that gets inverted when you're working on a, on a blackboard surface, which means it's going to be black when it prints out. So the thing about uh, when you're drawing and modeling in AutoCAD or Revit architecture is that the dark line, the black line, is the line you want to give the most emphasis to. It, it'll typically be text, on your uh, in your title block and when it comes to modeling in model space or a Revit uh, when you're actually making a model the the dark line is going to be the object itself and everything is auxiliary or ancillary to that uh, to that you know that dark line that black line everything is going to be uh, shades of gray beyond that or colors so we're going to keep our text black for now and uh, just do that just type in text let's scroll down and click on title block and we're going to change the color. Instead of white, we're going to make our title block look. Um, we're going to make that green. Now there are primary colors down here, and then there's a lot of different shades of those primary colors. What we're going to be doing for this class is just stick to all the colors in our uh, in our index down here. So this is index color number three. It's going to be green. We're going to go ahead and select that. And go to OK. Now you'll notice that when we do this, that everything that's on that title block layer will be green. So there's no really close button here. The only way to get out of this is this X button up here, which really isn't intuitive. But let's go ahead and do that. These changes have already made, been made, and we'll go from there. So you notice that our title block, everything that should be in a title block layer, which is on the zero layer, needs to be turned or put on the title block layer. So let's go ahead and do that. The way you do that is you select your objects. You do it one at a time or do a pick box window by scrolling from the right to the left and be careful when you do this because you don't want to make sure you want to make sure you're not moving these lines around and we want to keep them in the, in the place that they're at 
I'm going to make as few edits here as possible. But select everything you can except for the text. And if you miss something, that's okay. You're going to see what you miss and we're going to be able to correct that. Everything's selected. Go up here to our layer palette under our home tab on the ribbon. Scroll down and pick title block. Everything's green. You'll notice that we did miss a line down here, and if you did that, a couple lines, go ahead and reselect that and just follow that same procedure again. Title block. Let's take our text and move that onto the text layer, if it isn't already. Same thing. Clicking that, it's on the zero layer. Let's move all of our text on the text layer just by doing the same thing, that by selecting it, by clicking on it with your cursor, or doing a pick box from the right to the left. That selects everything that's within inside that pick box and go to text. That doesn't change, it still stays white, but it really does put it on a different layer. Alright, we're all set. Close block editor. Save changes to architectural title block, yes. And now you notice that that's green. So when this prints out, text is going to be black, green is going to be a shade of gray, which is okay. And everything inside of our viewport window with that rectangle that we had drawn and I erased, sorry about that, but we're going to draw something new here and just in the just the next couple videos. So thanks for joining me. We'll see you soon.